In this video, we can discuss about leakage test, clarity test and content uniformity test. These are important quality control tests for finished pharmaceutical parenteral preparations. We had discussed about the sterility testing and pyrogen test in previous two videos. Here we will discuss the leakage test, clarity test and content uniformity test. Let us start with the leakage test. So as we all know, parental preparations or product are pharmaceutical preparation which are sterile and which are intended to administer directly into the blood circulation. So all the parental product must be aseptically sealed in container to avoid the contamination of content with an environment as soon as the product is filled in the unit container. So it is very important to ensure the sealing is perfect or not. Leakage test is done to identify the perfectly sealed container and leaked containers. So how we will perform the leakage test? In case of ambus, this test is performed by immersing the sealed ampule in a dye solution. Usually 1% methylene blue solution is taken. And then we will apply a negative pressure at least 25 inch or 64 centimeter of vacuum for minimum of 15 minutes. Then the vacuum on the tank is then released as rapidly as possible to put the maximum stress on weak seals. Then the ampules are washed and then we will observe whether the ampule is colored or not. So the defective ampules which are not perfectly sealed will be seen as blue solution because the methylene blue solution will enter into the defective ampules which are not perfectly sealed. So that is the leakage test for ampules. We will immerse the ampules in a dye solution usually 1% methylene blue solution then we will give a negative pressure for 15 minutes then we will release the vacuum as soon as possible to put maximum stress on the weak seals. Then after that we will wash the ampules and we will observe for the color inside the ampules. So defective ampules will give blue solutions. So this is the equipment used. So after the uh, leakage test if uh, the leakage uh, leaked ampules is seen as blue color it indicate defective sealing. Now procedure for bottles and vials. Usually bottles and vials are not subjected to the vacuum test because of flexibility of rubber closure. As we know the bottles and vials are closed with the rubber closures. So if we are applying a negative pressure or vacuum it will automatically enter the dye solution inside the vials. So we will not, uh, we will not uh, apply the vacuum for the leakage test of bottles and vials. But in, in such cases, we can use a spark tester probe which is applied to outside of the bottle moving from the liquid layer to the air space. So how can we determine whether it is leaking? A blue spark, blue spark discharge may occur if air space is, air space is identified. That is why we have a bottle negative pressure test. Sparker test probe for the electric blue spark discharge in the leakage in the Now, in case of plastic bottles, the vacuum must remain during its shelf life. If you have bottles, you can use bottles, you can use bottles, And the presence of vacuum is detected by striking the base of the bottle with heel of hand to produce a typical water hammer sound. We have to use a water hammer sound to indicate that it is leaked or leaked. Sorry, it is perfectly sealed. That is, the vacuum remains in the end of shelf life. If it is leaked, it is not a vacuum, it is air. So, that is what we can identify. Uh, bottles and vials in the case. So that is all about the leakage test. 
Now coming to next to this, that is the clarity test or test for particles in parenteral preparation. So what is clarity? Clarity is defined as the state or quality of being clear or transparent to eye. And the clarity test is also referred as particulate matter monitoring. Now what is the importance of the clarity test? Because the presence of solid particles like uh, rubber fragments, fibers, which are present in the parental products are more dangerous because they will form pathological granulomas in vital organs. And this is more dangerous especially when the contaminants are larger than the size of RBC because it may block the vessels and needles and syringes. So that is the importance of clarity test. Now what is the particulate matter? Particulate matter is defined as in USP as unwanted mobile insoluble foreign matter other than the glass gas bubbles present in the product. Now, we have a clear solution seal is the container at the Nokuna Samet, Adil Kanan, insoluble itala, unwanted itala particles in an particulate matter and varin. Then I monitor a medical test and clarity test and varin. Okay. All the product containing clear solution should be inspected against the black and white background using special light visual uh, special light source in visual method. So what is the limit of particulate matter in parental preparation? This is a uh, limit uh, which is specified in the USP. This is the maximum number of particle permitted for each particles. That means there should be a maximum of 50 particles with particle size of 10 micrometer and there should there can be a maximum of 5 particles per ml with the particle size of 25 and there should not be any particles with the particle size greater than 50 microgram. So, 10 microgram is 50 particles are maximum allowed number per ml. Okay. 25 micrometer is 5 particles and there should not be any particles higher than the 50 micrometer. Now what are the different method for clarity test or uh, test for particulate matter? There are visual method in which we will observe the packed container in white and black background. Then counter counter method. Here we will measure the electrical resistance which can be correlated with the particle size. Then filtration method, light absorption method, light reflection method or uh, light blockade method. First one is visual method. In this we will observe the filled container against a strong illuminating background with swirling motion. Why swirling motion? In swirling motion it is very easy to identification of moving particles. And sometimes we will observe the container in by inversion of the container to view the heavier particles. So if you are inverting the uh, container the heavier particles will uh, fall down due to the sedimentation force. Now uh, against the uh, we will observe the container against the dark or black background to view light or white particles and we will observe the uh, in light or white background to view black or dark particles. So we will observe both in white as well as black background to observe the opposite colored particles. Now what are the limitations of visual methods? This is visible in unaided A, a maximum of 50 micrometer can be observed. There may be variation in visual velocity depend on the person who are performing the clarity test and it may vary with the emotional stress of the person who are performing the clarity test and it, it will give a strain to eye. Now second method is culture counter method. This is based on the principle that there will be an increasing resistance when a particle approaches and passes through an orifice between two electrodes and this increasing resistance can be correlated with the particle size. But the disadvantage of culture counter method is it requires the destruction of the product. We have to take out the product from the packed container to test the 
uh, test for clarity in case of culture counter method since the electrolyte is added to the preparation before the evaluation but advantages is this is faster and uh, more accurate now third method is filtration method in usp it include as a test which, which in which it consists of filtering a specified volume of the product through a filter disc with pore size not more than 8 micrometer and then observing the microscopically for the number of particulate matter retained in the filter disc. So, filter paper or filter disc use a filter here. A filter na namala microscopically observe here for uh, the particulate matter which are retained on the filter disc. So, that is all about the clarity test. Now, coming to the condensed uniformity test. And this is done to determine the concentration of active pharmaceutical ingredient in the parental preparation and the determined content uniformity should be within the specified label content which are specified in the monograph and this test is mainly intended for the sterile parental solid preparations. Now how we will perform the content uniformity test? First we will take 30 sterile unit from each batch then out of this we will weight 10 individual sterile unit, then weight is noted, then the content is removed from them and the empty individual sterile unit is weight and noted and the net weight is calculated by subtracting the empty sterile unit weight from the gross weight. So, we will unit sterile units, that is the individual item weighted, that is the product weighted, product is the same weighted. So, that is the minus, that is the difference, that is the content. Okay. So, the unit is the same weighted, that is the same weighted. Now, the content of active ingredient in each unit can be calculated by performing assay according to the individual monograph. Now, what are the limits? The dose uniformity will meet the requirement if the amount of active ingredient is within the range of 85 to 115 percentage of the label claim determined by the content uniformity method or weight variation method and maximum allowed relative standard deviation is less than 0.6 percentage. Now that is the number determine chain of some at the that is 85 in day. The content uniformity test pass out. That is the fail out. Now, we have to say that the label claim is 85 in the Ulil. That is 85 in the Molum, 115 the Tari the range the test Now, if one unit is outside the range of 85 to 115 none of the sterile is outside the 75 and 125 and if the relative standard deviation is greater than the 6.6 percentage and then we have to perform the content uniformity test additional 30 units that we had taken for the sample the content uniformity test in 30 samples are added to the line. That is why we have to do this. 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 That is that is the uniformity. 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 That is the uh, content uniformity test and leakage test. Hope it is clear. Thank you for watching this video.